Do you have a Nexus 7 LTE edition, but you've got Verizon for your carrier? If so, you're going to run into a problem trying to get Verizon LTE working on your unlocked Nexus 7, but there's a workaround. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now, and I'm on location outside of Verizon store where I'm going to go in undercover, show you just what you need to do to get LTE working from Verizon on your Nexus 7. So the problem that we have here is Verizon is old school. They, they really want you to have a device that they've qualified and certified to work on their network to work on their network. But really all you need is a data sim that you can pop into your Nexus 7 and it should work just fine, but it doesn't. And the reason being, it needs to activate. And that activation process is tied only to numbers, IMEI numbers to be specific, that Verizon's qualified. And they have blocks of these numbers that they've qualified. And the Nexus 7 isn't one of them. But there's a way around that. The way around that is to find an IMEI that you can hijack. Now it's not as bad as it sounds. All you need to do is essentially activate your card, your SIM card, using that IMEI number for a tablet preferably. Once you've done that, you're good. It's all just administrative. But you do have to have that number, and you do have to go ahead and activate it. Easiest way to do that, head to your Verizon store, get some screenshots, some IMEI numbers of display units. Then of course, have the guy behind the counter activate your brand new LTE SIM with one of those IMEI numbers Take it home and you're set. Now, it's not a bad thing. Like I said, hijacking makes it sound nefarious and it's really not. You're just getting through an administrative loophole here. But what you're doing is as soon as you pop that SIM in your new device, it's going to register the identification number on that module with the IMEI of your device and everything will work fine. Mostly. Some of the back end stuff like accounting and billing isn't going to work through their portals. You're going to have to call it in if you need to make any changes or, or have any questions about that. But you can still do it. This is the way to get around it until such time as Verizon allows the Nexus 7 onto their network officially. And really all that means is they've got to put the IMEI numbers of the devices into their database. Why they haven't, I don't know. Hopefully they'll do it soon. This has been recommended by numerous managers inside Verizon stores. So it's not something that we're telling you to do to get around the system. This is something that they're saying needs to be done. And they're just as frustrated as you are because really they're turning customers away by not being able to do this just really, really simply. The first thing you may want to try is going in and asking the manager to activate your SIM using an IEMEI number from one of the display models. They might do that, they might not. If you explain why, the chances are they will, but some of them may give you a hard time. If that's the case, come back later when another manager's on duty and take the advice that we gave you here in this film. If you liked what you saw, why don't you give the video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to our video channel so you don't miss out on all the new cool stuff that we're releasing literally every single day. Of course, you don't want to keep all this great information to yourself, so why not share it with your friends on your favorite social network? Mine, of course, is Twitter, where I am at Joe Levi, and the channel is at Pocket Now. For Pocket Now, showing you how you can get LTE from Verizon on your Nexus 7, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time.